So we're at the zoo, we're waiting to get in and I'm vlogging Jen, either taking a picture or vlogging. <laughs> she doesn't have her glasses on today so you probably won't be seeing her face. <laughs> but anyway, we're having a blast. It's, it's overcast but it's still really nice. It's not cold out at all, it's perfect. And so we're getting ready to go in and I'll start videotaping or vlogging when we get on the bus tour. Bye guys. Not a lot of that growth in the ice and snow. So He's there's a staple out there in field. Yeah. Also you all miss caribou and fish. Yeah. Our polar bears will not get as big white wise as they would in the wild. Because of our uh, warmer weather. However, definitely than the Arctic, so they do not grow extra fat layers or blubber to keep warm like they need in the wild. So they are thinner. Our polar bears eat veggies as well as meat here at the zoo. In fact, carrots is their favorite veggie. A couple different things back here back in the zoo. Uh, to your right is the Ice Age Theater. Those show the movie about every 20 minutes. Um, it's a 3D movie with 4D effects. And then on our left, we have our mountain lions are kind of hiding out on us right now, but there's a couple of them in there. This is called Cougar's Land from South Africa. They were born there. They moved to San Diego at about six months old, live up lived up at the Savannah Zoo, and then they moved to Santa Monica in 1998. They've been prized, sometimes up to 30 lions in a pride, but in large groups. They are crepuscular, which means more active dawn and dusk. However, they do have periods during the day where they are awake, like right So you have a couple different types of elephants here, the African and the Asian. The two you see right here are the African elephants. There's an Asian elephant kind of standing behind that African elephant over there by the care yeah. center. Yeah. Can't really see her. Now, the differences, of course, are pretty easy to spot. Uh, the bigger ears on the African elephant, the fact that the female African elephants have visible pups, whereas the female Asian elephants do not. In the body size, you can see that Asian elephant is pretty much hidden some sight behind the big African elephant standing in front of her. Okay. These are uh, tallest and full grown adult males. Now you'll notice on his head, look at all those lumps and bumps on his forehead there. Those are calcium deposits that the giraffes, the male giraffe will grow as they age. That hardens their head for fighting or arguing with other giraffes. Uh, you'll notice the females don't have that on their foreheads, only the males. We have three full-grown females, and there's our little gal there. She's about a month and a half old. And then we have a two-year-old little boy, too. He's the next smallest one here. Now, the side giraffe, which is this type of giraffe that you're seeing here, they're the second, uh, actually the smallest subspecies of giraffe in Africa. They're not.